All right, now let's see how we go about creating a sponsored post. So we're going to go back and let's go to that ad set that we just did. If you recall, we just did this to just listed the whole nine yards. So first what we're going to do is we're going to post it. And there's a number of different ways to create an ad, but I feel um, after trial and error, the best way for me to do it and the best return that I seem to be getting is to actually create the ad, post it on the site first, then come in and actually boost uh, the post. So there's two different things you can do. Uh, with regards to Facebook advertising is number one you can boost the post or number two you can create an ad specifically through Facebook um, creating an ad a targeted ad through Facebook in some cases will actually cost you a little bit more than boosting it all depends on what your end result is um, if it's more about um, getting it out there and um, just being in front of people staying on top of mind and things of that nature boosting a post is fine um, you know, for me, the case of um, advertising open houses or new listings or new stuff like that, you know, boosting a post is fine. You use a specific geographic area and boom, be done with it. Um, so, but anyway, so we hit boost. Now, basically, you got a couple of things. It's going to show you your ad, you know, your desktop, your news feed, the whole nine yards. So, um, you know, you, you got to choose your audience. Um, I've got tons of different audiences depending on what my, again, what my result is. Um, and if you click on each one of the audience, you can see what the, you know, what it is. So this, this one was, um, Auburn mass plus 25 miles, hold in plus 25 miles, so on and so forth. Um, when I do my open houses, uh, a Worcester 10, Worcester plus 10 miles. Um, I basically do, um, everything that begins with W <laughs> Webster, West Boylston and Worcester plus 10 miles, which gives me pretty much a good, uh, a good range. Um, my vendors, I know you see my vendor post. Um, so my general vendor post, I had it targeted to basically Rutland, Mass, 50 mile radius. So Rutland being the geographical center of Massachusetts, you know, 50 miles in either direction puts me basically into New Hampshire, you know, the border of New Hampshire, Connecticut, and kind of saturates the entire thing. So these are just generalized um, um, areas. Um, my home buyer seminar. So my home buyer seminar, I did, um, you know, I tried a couple different things. I tried to do like Worcester area. I didn't really drill it down too, too much. You know, you can go in and you can edit it if you, if you want to, um, you know, based on their interest and whatnot. I'm not going to touch this at the moment. Um, but what we'll do is I'll show you from scratch um, what if we were to create a new, um, a new ad. Um, and I also run my promotions on Instagram. So I'm getting double the thing. I'm getting it on Facebook and I have my Instagram hooked up. So um, Instagram gets that up. You know, what, let's uh, let's create a new um, create a new audience for this ad here. So we're just going to hit create new audience, um, and we'll just say uh, Barry Road open open house. Um, here's what you want. You know, all you know you want targeted specifically towards men, specifically towards women, all, whatever the case may be, we're going to hit all. In this case here, this is a $300,000 house, so I'm probably going to say that most, you know, um, you know, 21, 22, 23, 24 year olds aren't really going to be looking at something like this. So let's say, you know what, let's say 26 to, um, being that this is a little bit of a larger colonial, um, you know, it's, it's more of a family type home um you know a retired couple's not going to be living in here um you know a first time home buyer is not going to be living there so let's um you know let's look at there you know let's look at that so let's say about maybe we say 45 you know somewhere in that range we'll say 45 uh it's so typically 26 year old to 45 year old i, I would say is going to do that so um houses in worcester so let's say hey you know what what's uh what's a 10 mile radius so here's worcester plus a 10 mile radius so someone who's looking in the west side of worcester you know maybe they might consider holding um probably not Shrewsbury and stuff like that but you know what this is a pretty good generalized um range you know we're not gonna um you know we're not gonna go too much further than that um for especially for worcester so let's oh, barry road open house let's go back to him and edit so uh i'm gonna run with that so now let's look at interests okay um so there's different interests that you can do here this is where you can kind of start playing around with a few different things if you hit browse and then sometimes facebook is a little finicky like it is right now 
I don't know why it's doing this. So, uh, as you can see in your um, in your categories, you have business and industry, entertainment, family relationships, fitness and wellness, food and drink, hobbies, activities, things like that. So we can say. Let's say um, homeowners. You know what? Let's try real estate. So I don't understand why this is doing this. For some reason, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time. I don't know if Facebook is having a glitch at the moment or if it's my computer but normally you can go in and these are all categories um, you have business and industry if you click on the little arrow to the left of business and industry it will open up another subcategories of the different types of businesses and industries and you can drill down there entertainment you can look at different entertainment things family relationships food drink shopping fashion the whole nine yards um, this gives you the ability to really kind of target market. So if you were looking, if you had a house that you were really kind of, it's first time home buyer house and you really wanted to target first time home buyers, you could go into this and really start drilling down to different, uh, different people like, um, ages, um, um, the amount of money that they're making, uh, things like that. So you could really kind of drill down in, in, get it to be a little bit better uh, again I apologize I'm not sure what is going on on here but once you choose your stuff you're just gonna go ahead and hit save we'll fast forward a little bit so now you have your ad is is there and then what you're gonna do is you come back over here and you basically choose your budget in, in duration um, you can choose dollar amounts you can do whatever you want to do um, you can choose ten dollars fifteen thirty a hundred Choose your own or you just manually write it in there so you know if you want to do fifteen dollars you can just hit fifteen dollars um, completely up to you uh, with the case of my open houses I'm you can run it you can run your ads for a day seven days fourteen days or you can just choose which day you want to do it so my open house actually is on Sunday so I'm not going to run an open house ad any more than um, the day of the open house and uh, again it's up to you what you want to spend you know you have to at least I'm doing gonna do this on purpose the minimum budget is a dollar per day so your budget needs to be at least three dollars so understand that on a boosted post you have to at least advertise for one dollar a day I think an ad a created ad from scratch is about five dollars a day so you can see the cost benefit here on a 30 day uh, 30 day boosted ad it's gonna cost you thirty dollars versus uh, a, cr creating a new ad it's gonna cost you a hundred and fifty dollars because now you're paying five dollars for the 30 days as opposed to one dollar for the 30 days um, but I usually just do ten dollars and the more you put here it'll start showing you the estimated amount of reach you want to spend a hundred dollars um, you know it can reach up to nineteen thousand you want to spend a thousand dollars you know it'll you know do that we will see that the lower end is still pretty close to you know um a lower you know the, the spread you know and then based on your this is a good thing to show you too so based on your criteria that you have here in this case is Worcester 10 miles age bracket if you started to go again drill down a little bit further it will start showing you how many people kind of, how many people in this case 65,000 um you could actually potentially reach so anyway you got that you got your um, we're going to do ten dollars. We're going to do until the second. So I'm spending three dollars and thirty three cents a day It's going to run for three days ending on October 2nd um, That's really all you need to do uh, aside of making sure that you have a payment method set up in there um, This is a little bit, you know If you have pixels set up you can start choosing the different pixels and things like that a, a, a pixel is basically a way it's a tracking tool to see how many people landed and what the what the um, the analytics end up being um, you know most people don't really get into that I like to do it uh, simply because I'm a, I'm a geek like that and I like to see where people are looking at it uh, what times of day you know what the hotspot is and stuff like that 
Once that's all set, it's as simple as hitting boost and submitting your promotion. And that's it. So as you can see, it says in review. Um, I do a ton of spending with uh, Facebook. So typically my ads will get approved in 10 minutes. Uh, don't be surprised if you run an ad. Uh, could take um, could take almost 24 hours in some cases until you build a reputation with Facebook that they know that you're not a scammer. You're not you know spamming people left and right with garbage ads. Uh, also, um, your picture. Um, Facebook has a algorithm that if for some reason you have too much text in your picture, they will not allow you to advertise it um, because they feel it's more scammy. Or I mean, spammy and stuff. So um, try to eliminate as much text as you can. You can always have pictures with text, but you want to keep keep it to a minimum. Uh, and then once it's all set, you're just going to hit close, and you will see down here. This is where your your boosted post is, and at a quick glance, you'll be able to see kind of how much you got left. Um, you know, for example. I got like this one here. Here's a boosted post from my vendor post right here. Uh, he's got another. I got nineteen dollars and nineteen cents left on his. Um, here's here's a post that I just did before. Um, I got eight dollars seventy four cents left on that. So it gives you it gives you an idea. You can always go back in and you can actually add to the budget if you clicked on it. You can add. Um, you can start adding dollars if you wanted to add. Keep continue this post. You can add more money here. Um, do whatever you know, whatever whatever works for you. And again, here's your Instagram. This is what it's going to look like on your on your Instagram. It's going to show that it's sponsored. Uh, you know, and then shows basically shows your shows your ad catch and stuff like that. So it links back to the same thing as um, same thing as before. So um, so that's that. And then uh, you can go into your insights, and you can see here's your ads. You can see how they're performing. Um, you know, we just did this one. You know this this post here. Let's say you know uh, so far it's it, 290 people have reached, 34 people have um, engaged with it. Um, you know I can hit it. I can kind of look at the post again if I wanted to add to it. I can add to it. You know you can do whatever you want to do. Um, and then here gives you a little bit more uh, breakdown of your your reach. So like this one with my vendor partner, 50 people of reached it organically 136 people have reached it paid um you know and again it's just a lot of different little things that you can kind of you know that you can kind of take a look at so hopefully that helps a little bit um and if you got any questions give me a call and i'll talk to you guys soon take care bye